Welcome to the HIA Timesheets tutorial video for clients. In this video you will learn how to log into online timesheets system, change your temporary password, authorize employees timesheets, reject incorrect timesheets, and view previously approved timesheets, and placement details. To begin, open the welcome email you received, and keep a note of the username and password. Then click on the link in the email, to open the HIA Timesheet login page. On the login page make sure that the user type is set to client. If it's not, just click on the user type drop down, next to user type field, and select client. Now enter the username and password you received via email, and then click login. When you log in for the first time, you will be prompted to change your temporary password. Simply enter the new password in the available fields, and press save. The new password is saved, and timesheet summary page is displayed. The view timesheet page shows the submitted timesheets for all the pay periods by default. You can filter this view by timesheet status and pay period. To filter by status, click on the timesheet status drop down, and select one of the options. Similarly, click on the pay period drop down, list of different pay periods open. Select one of the pay periods, the page updates and shows the timesheets for selected option. Timesheets can be approved from the view timesheets page. To view all unapproved timesheets, make sure that Submitted is selected as the timesheet status. Then for the list of available timesheets, click on the timesheet you want to approve. The timesheet is displayed as entered by the employee, and also includes a breakdown of the hours against different work types. Click Approve to approve this timesheet. A notification will open up. Click OK to close this notification. Timesheet gets approved, and the view timesheet page is displayed. Please make sure that you action all the timesheets before Monday, to ensure that the apprentices are paid on time. If you have reviewed the timesheet and determined that it is not correct, you can choose to reject the timesheet. To do this, click on the reject button. Then enter the reason for rejection on the pop-up that displays, and click OK. The timesheet is marked as rejected. Whenever a timesheet is rejected, it is sent back to the apprentice for review and correction. Apprentice gets an email notification that their timesheet is rejected, along with the rejection reason. They can then make the changes in the timesheet and resubmit it for approval. The view timesheet page also allows multiple timesheets approval at once. To approve multiple timesheets, move your mouse over to the first column. This will display timesheet details at a glance without having to open the timesheet. Once previewed, click on the checkbox to mark it as selected. Similarly, preview other timesheets and select all timesheets that you want to approve. Click Approve, and then click OK on the notification to approve them all at once. All the selected timesheets gets approved and view timesheet page refreshes. Whenever a timesheet is submitted by an apprentice, you will get an email notification. This email displays summary of the timesheet that is submitted including hours and breakdown of allowances. To approve this timesheet you will need to log in. To do this, click on the timesheet link in the email. The HR apprentice's timesheet login page opens. Sign in with your credentials. The timesheet is displayed as entered by the employee. Click Approve and then click OK on the notification to approve this timesheet. Timesheet gets approved, and the View Timesheet page is displayed. To view your current placements, click on the Placements tab. The Placement tab provides you with a summary of all current active placements for your apprentices. It includes the details such as name, start and end dates, pay cycle duration etc.
You can also approve a timesheet on the spot via the employee timesheet entry screen. It's similar to you being handed a manual timesheet from the employee, and you signing it immediately. When employee has entered their timesheet, they need to click Submit and Approve button. A notification will open up. Click OK to close this notification. This brings up the supervisor login screen. The username is automatically populated for the currently assigned supervisor. Or, to change the supervisor, click on the drop down menu and select one of the names from available options. Enter your password and click Login. Then click Approve to approve the current timesheet. A notification will open up. Click OK to close this notification. Timesheet gets approved. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video. We hope that this had helped you understand HIA timesheet approval and rejection process. If you have any questions, please call 1300 652 723 or drop us an email at hiagaspayroll at hia.com.au.